Hello, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Let's jump into it. Yep, that is loud as ever. Um, last time we did chapter eight, eight, seven, seven, I think. Yeah, seven. It was the um, the black hand of darkness, I guess. Uh, and last time, uh, Grail, our father or Ike's father, got injured by uh, the Black Knight, of course. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've last recorded, and I was kind of mid, um, yeah, I was actually mid of editing, middle of editing the previous video, so I don't entirely remember what happened on all the details towards the end of what happened last chapter, um, but I will be, uh, refreshing my memory, uh, later in this week, because that, that episode's gonna come out, uh, this week. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be recording a bunch of these going forward as well. I did hear all of your thoughts and comments up until this point, and thank you so much for the support. Not to mention, thank you so much for telling me about all these tips and tricks, as well as the uh, English names for some of the characters. That has been a lot of fun to read. However, I do think going forward, just for simplicity's sake, um, I do think even though it might be a little bit difficult for you guys to, um, you know, catch on, um, just because the name in Japanese is will be displayed in front of my like eyes or whatever, I think going forward, I will continue using the Japanese names. Um, like even just just so it makes things a little more simpler for my end, because I am translating things, like, right off the bat. And if I had to add a layer of trying to memorize English localization names, um, and then, like, implementing them into the, the text or something, I feel like that'd be a little bit too much for me. Uh, so please keep that in mind. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, some of them, <laughs> some, some of the localizations were very funny, you know, and I'll get to that in a second. But for the time being, let's jump into chapter eight. Uh, it is called Despair and Hope. What is this, Dang and Rumper? Okay. <laughs> um, oh, we don't have the dial. Oh, we have a flashback. So, yeah, I think it last left off with Gro uh, Grail getting injured. I don't remember why the Black Knight left. It might have been a thing of, like, I see great potential in you, child, and then he walked off or something. But it's very interesting because um, Grail recognized his voice or something, and it's just like, oh, you must be so-and-so, and then it was kind of left for to a mystery. But anyways, okay. Hey, are you already done? Oh, come on now. Uh, with that sort of strength, you'll never be able to beat me. I guess they're training young Ike there. Ah, oh, for the love of God, I suppose your stubbornness um, is similar to mine too. I guess, like, yeah. I don't know. His uh, heart to never give up is the same as mine, or something. I guess that's Chibi Ike, but I'm guessing there's no portrait for him, because, you know, they have to pay artists. <laughs> Anyways, okay. I hurry and become big. You will become a strong warrior one day. Uh, the, uh, the OST is very beautiful. I like this a lot. Oh my god, this is a, his grave now. It really did feel like we finished the prologue last time. Uh, not like the prologue prologue, but like the prologue of the story, you know. Dad, I guess this isn't a dream. This is reality, isn't it? What a beautiful picture. Uh, the sun's setting, and it's starting to get a little bit cold. Let's go back inside, Mist. Mm, she's not saying anything. Mist. No, she's crying. Hick, hick. Mist. Mm, okay. I was right beside him, and yet I couldn't protect him. I'm sorry. Mm, yeah, she's still sniffling. Mm. Da Dad's gone, and I, I don't know what to do anymore. That'd be tough. I mean, Mist looks like she's like 10 or something, right? Like, if Ike is 15, 16, like, Mist will probably be around like 9, 10, so I'm here for you. Oh, nee chan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Big bro. I'll be the one that leads the mercenary guild. I'll do it for the sake of Dad and for the sake of everyone else in the guild. I'll protect everyone. I fight for my friends. Sorry, this isn't the, the, the mood, is it? I'm sorry that I'm breaking the atmosphere. I am very much feeling emotional and uh, enjoying this story immensely, but... Okay. Yeah, big bro, big bro. Mm. I don't want you to... I don't want you to just disappear on me, just like Dad did. I mean it, okay? Yeah, it's a promise. I feel like they're gonna get separated at one point. <laughs> <laughs> probably not like death or something, but like, yeah, they're probably gonna get separated at one point, and it's gonna be the whole thing of like, oh, you couldn't, you couldn't, uh, fulfill my promise, how could you? As they usually do. Right, how's Tim? How is everyone else feeling about this? 
Or do they even know yet? Or, um, I don't know, okay. Okay, this is a little bit hard to translate because uh, I need a bit of context, but she's basically saying, like, phew, like, um, you know, things just keep happening, so it, you know, that sort of thing. But, yeah, it's kind of leading on to another sentence. So Tiamat, uh, also known as, is it Tatiana or Titania? It's one of them in English. But anyways, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> scenario. Apparently his name is Soren, but the issue... Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing you got to understand. If There's no way in hell he could be called Soren in Japanese because... Because... Hear this. So this is very funny. Soren is a, the shortened phrase uh, for the Soviet Union in Japanese. <laughs> so there's no way in hell he could be called Soren in any situation. That made me chuckle a bit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, it did. Um, it actually kind of made Scenario sound like a normal name for a second, but um, I guess he's called Sorry. I guess he's the Soviet Union. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, Ike. Oh, Ike, what happened to Mist? I got her to rest up in her room. She's with Kilroy and Yofa. I think Kilroy was Riss or something, and Yofa... Might have been Joshua or something? I don't know. Again, I don't entirely remember. I mean, I could pull out comments, but, you know, I'm kind of mid-recording, so <laughs> I do apologize, but okay. Well, at least that's good news. If we left her alone like that, then even she would uh, not be able to, you know, stand back up. You don't need to push yourself too, Ike. I'm fine. No matter how much I cry and, and moan, I guess, uh, Dad will never come back. If anything, I should be thanking you for l looking over me, Tiamat. Scenario too. No, it's not a problem. Don't worry about that at all. Okay. And where's everyone else? Like, to tell you the truth... Huh? Oh, okay, what's happening? Uh, Oscar has returned, I guess. Or, yeah, Os Oscar reporting to base, I guess. I don't know. How was it? I couldn't convince them. Oscar, what happened? Ike, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, but enough about that. Tell me what's happening. Yeah, let's see. How should I explain this to you? Shinon and Gatri has left the base. S scenario? Well, there's no use hiding it. The two of them left? What was their reasoning? Well, was it because of my fault? Ike, the Vice Admiral made the decision to make you the leader, Ike, going forwards. And I suppose Shinon and Shinon Tachi, so Shinon and Gatri weren't um, weren't okay with that, and that's the reason why they left. Yeah, I had a gut feeling. I mean, Shinon was like what a sniper in Chapter Two, doing like fourteen times two. I'm like, I'm sure you can play as him a bit later down the line, but yeah, it kind of made sense that he was going to leave for a bit. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm being all meta with this and t taking a look at the um, stats and kind of like you know, predicting what's going to happen. I do feel like that kind of loses a bit of value in, you know, reacting to the story. But yeah, anyways, okay, I'm, I'm not particularly surprised. I am a little bit bummed out, but hey, that's, that's, it is what it is. I'm sure that means there's going to be at least two more characters joining us soon. So, um, you know, let's look at it on the bright side. Although Shinon is still my uh, Path of Radiance husband, I don't think that's going to change for a long time. So uh, I will be patient and I will wait for his return. <laughs> okay. I went after them and tried to convince them, but it was no use. Well, to tell you the truth, the Grail mercenary was going to be led by Ike at one point or another. This just fastened those plans, or, you know, it made, it made those plans quicker, I suppose. I don't see why they wouldn't understand. There's no, you know, we can forget about them. There's no use trying to convince them. Scenario is like a little bitch. And I, okay, to be fair, I did, I did notice that there was actually quite a few fans of this guy. I'm sure he gets a little bit better or like, you know, maybe his support conversations get good or something. Uh, and speaking of, someone did mention that chapter seven, I think, is when the support, you can take a look and you can kind of manage them. I think we're in chapter seven right now. Um, but yeah, though someone did say that like, oh yeah, like he gets, he gets a bit better. So, you know, don't, don't uh, throw all your eggs in the, in the, you know, hate scenario basket, I suppose. Um, but yeah, no, he is, he's very annoying so far. He's, yeah, like I said, you know, previously, he, he's, he's very cold hearted, you know, but anyways, okay. For the strength that we lost, uh, we can just recruit new members and fill in those gaps. Scenario. Scenario, you fought alongside them for years. You can't say something like that. I don't know if it's years, but he just said, like, a long time, yeah? Sorry, Ike, there was nothing I could do about it. It's not your fault, Tiamat. If anything, it's rather normal for Shinon and Gatri to leave like that. 
Especially when a rookie like myself ends up being the leader. Ike, don't say stuff like that about yourself. No, I'm not saying that to uh, d degrade myself. This is reality. This is a harsh reality. But whatever the case, I have to do my duty as the leader here to protect everyone. Ike, well, then... I will follow my father's footsteps, uh, or sorry, legacy, I guess, and become the chief of this squad. Especially if everyone else has no issues with it. That's exactly what I want to do. Of course. Tiamat is such a supportive- she's like the- she really is the mother figure of this group. Um, she's like the mother figure of this group of, like, rowdy teen boys. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> like, um, you know, dad's off somewhere else and, and now uh, Tiamat's gonna be the, you know, push us all in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> you know, anyways, okay. I was planning on doing that from the beginning. I'm guessing Borle was meant to say something here, but he's dead, so... <laughs> Sorry, mate. Anyways, okay. Yep, I agree with that. Kilroy. Kilroy! Mist, uh, has gone to sleep now. So I guess then maybe there's additional dialogue that's here, because, like, if Kilroy died, all this wouldn't be here, right? So, I guess they could- there's different snippets that appear based on if these characters are alive or not, which is very interesting. But, okay. That's the reason why I return here, but I, I seem to have underst uh, understood uh, this story in full, I guess. Which means, yeah, I think storytelling-wise, that would mean Path of Radiance is easily the most deepest, uh, compared to the Game Boy Advance games at least, where, you know, it was just like Roy and Merlin is talking, or, oh, Erica and uh, Innes and all the important characters talking. But, like, here, these are characters that can die. I don't know if Tiamat can die-die, or if she just goes, I'm wounded, I'm gonna stand outside. Um, but it's very interesting because, yeah, I feel like it'd be much, much more difficult to write a story like that and have it so that you can have characters that are either in the storyline or not based on the player's actions, if that makes sense. It's very interesting. And it, it means it'd be a very good game to replay and, and you know, reimagine the story even more. Uh, it's very immersive, you know? It's, um, because I do feel like, you know, you, maybe you recruited, I don't know, Geese or someone in Binding Blade, but he's never going to show up in the storyline, right? There's no real connection there. Um, so I really do dig what they're doing here, but okay. I don't know if that's what they keep doing going forwards. Uh, truth be told, like I said, I have played the 3DS games and I do really enjoy them, but I don't think I've ever... I've played Awakening with uh, the classic mode, but I didn't play the other two in this kind of hardcore, like, you know, no reset, um, you know, if they're dead, they're dead kind of mode. So I don't know if that is the case um, going forward in the series or not, but... Yeah, no, this is very impressive stuff. Sorry, um, that was a tangent and a half, but okay. The new admiral is Ike. Yeah, that sounds uh, that sounds just about right. I guess. What about you, scenario? Ike, do you think I can be of use to you? Is there a place for me on this squadron? You really are a weird one. I'm always relying on you. That's untrue, but okay, Mister. I'm gonna do seven damage. <laughs> but anyways, okay. You're gonna help me out going forwards too, right, Scenario? Yes, I will do my best to guard you. I guess he does respect Ike, he's just a bit of a dickhead to everyone else, you know? <laughs> so he's, he's a bit of a complicated character, but anyways, okay. I guess he's just going through that phase, right, of being like, you know, 14, 15, and just, you know, only looking up to the people who he respects, but then he thinks he's too smart for everyone else around him. Like, I kind of get it. I, I do understand that. Um, that he's just kind of, like, flawed in a sense because of his adolescence, but I think, yeah, like... You know, even that being said, I do find him a little annoying, and you have to understand that. Um, so, uh, no, but I, w I will watch over him and hope he grows throughout the storyline. I thank you, everyone. I know I'm not all that reliable as a leader, but I'll do my best. Or, like, you know, please watch over me, kind of thing. Well, it seems like you'll be, you'll be getting busy going forwards. First of all, as the leader, you have to do the minimal work um, that you need to get done, I guess. Yeah, tell me whatever you want me to do. First of all, you have to consider our finances and how we use them. Not to mention, get equipment for everyone uh, in the army, or in the, in, the, um, in the group, in the squadron. You can't skip over uh, gathering information either. Knowing everyone's skills, as well as how they treat each other, is going to be key into battle going forward. Okay, I guess this is kind of interesting. It's kind of like a meta way of saying, here, you've unlocked a bunch of features, but it's kind of doing it in this sort of like a mentor-disciple sort of thing, and it's it's done really well. It's woven in really well, I think. Um, instead of like, you can press the A button to, you know, you know. sometimes there's tutorials like that, so. Mm, okay. A while back, there were some people that uh, escaped um, Clamere, just like us, 
and ran into the castles. Uh, they were shopkeepers, uh, you know, so they were a band of shopkeepers. I told them that we were mercenaries, and they suggested that they would come along alongside us. Okay. Oh, I see, so you can always get items and stuff like that. Okay. It seems like they will buy and sell any weapons, items, or furumono. I guess that just means, like, old things or, like, antiques, I guess. So maybe there's, like, accessories or something in this game. They said they would also forge your weapons if you'd like. It, so it sounds like quite a good deal to me. Hmm. <laughs> I can say something. <laughs> oh, right, right. They also mentioned that they would be happy to carry all any belongings that we had, so give them anything that we don't need right now. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> I, I guess he's just nodding. Um, and on top of that, Tamat. <laughs> what? I did tell you to tell me about anything you want me to do, but if you tell me all of that at once, none of it's gonna stick in my head. <laughs> I guess he's a bit of a... I, I feel like, yeah, I guess Ike isn't all that smart in that sense, like he's battle smart, you know, his battle IQ is high, but I guess he isn't intelligently smart, which is very interesting, because a lot of mercenaries, oh no, sorry, not mercenaries, a lot of Fire Emblem protagonists, like Marth, um, you know, Marth, Elm, uh, basically all the ones I can think of, Roy, Elliewood, um, uh, Efuram, of course, all these characters tend to be really smart, oh, and like, um, Robin as well from Awakening. So it's really interesting that we got a bit of a brawler type <laughs> with Ike, it's very funny. Um, I dig it a ton. For the time being, I would love to learn as I go, is that okay with you? Yeah, uh, of course. Sorry, I think I, um, went too far, I guess, um, you know, I demanded too much, I suppose. Well, leave the rest to me, you should get some rest. I'm fine. Please, don't overdo yourself. I know I'm not the best at things, but I'll do my absolute best. Uh, to, to my capabilities. Ike. You, you will? Okay. You indeed will. I don't know what- Oh! That's cute! This is like, um... Uh, uh, Fates, right? Or, I think- No, maybe it was in Awakening as well. Where they have, like, the room. And you can, like, do conversations. You can give items. Let me chuck in a save first. Uh, we'll go back to- We'll loop back around to the top slot. Um, and... God, I am falling more and more in, t in love with this game. I really am. Oh, okay, we can take a look at um, all of our units and their items and stuff like that. We've only got five units. I suppose we would have had seven with um, YU and... Uh, uh, what is it again? YU and... Who's the other one? Uh, Borley, of course. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Borley's name was Boyd. <laughs> it was a very funny name. Um, I don't know what YU's name is yet because... Uh, well, I mean, it might it might just be YU. I don't know. But um, the, the reason I don't know is because I haven't uploaded that video as of this recording. So I have no idea. And I try and stay away from the wiki because, you know, I don't want to get spoiled on, you know, plot points and all that. Because uh, this does feel like a very story-heavy Fire Emblem, which I'm very, you know... And I'm really into it, so... What does the, um, the Book of, uh, Prayers do? Let me just check. Um, because that is a new item that I've never seen before. Uh, Korkant, maybe I need to... Oh, maybe I need to check. Hold on, I'll check in this screen, maybe. What does this do? It gives this skill prayer to someone. What does that skill do? <laughs> I... Hmm. I think I'm gonna hold on to that because I feel like I'm gonna give it to someone that doesn't need it or something. So let me know what that is. Let me know what it does. Uh, and then we'll decide who to give it on. It might be some sort of passive skill that heals. I have no idea. I literally could not guess. Um, so yeah. Uh, but anyways. Oh yeah, did... I didn't... I don't remember Kilroy getting a magic shield. Um, but I guess he did get one. And, uh... A heal and a mend, of course. What does Scenario have again? Wind and fire. Okay, cool. And I cast the armor killer. Cool. I don't think there's anything in our... Oh wait, no, there's seven things in our... Hold on. Uh, okay, thought it... Oh, we got some lances in stock. And a bow? Oh, is this all the stuff that... Um, Gatry and... Uh, and Shinon had, maybe? Huh. That's very interesting. I wonder if... Maybe if characters die in this game, um, they send... Oh, I did... Ah, oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. I really didn't mean... Sorry, I'm still getting used to the layout of this. I'll give you all the axe... Uh, the lances first, and then... Uh, chest key, and a voluntary, I guess. Um, what is this thing? Accessories, I guess? Maybe it's, like, power-up items, like the energy ring and stuff. Okay. And we have an, uh, a bow and three voluntaries. Is there anyone else that needs a voluntary? I mean, I probably shouldn't be doing this right now, but, you know. 
You give it a scenario for now. Um, uh, how do I do it? You thought that. Okay. And yeah, you can hold on to all of them. <laughs> Mr. Voluntary. Uh, <laughs> for the time being, that's fine. What is Ixer? Okay, we can increase the XP. What? Ginzai no bonus EXP. Okay. So, what is this? You can give them EXP. Oscar, I guess. Yeah, my bonus EXP is depleting. Oh my god, okay. Well, let's give it a go. Oh, it's so 100 the max I can do. Okay. Per character, I guess. Yeah, let's give it a go. If that's a bad idea, then who cares? <laughs> it's my first playthrough, it's fine. Um, okay. Alright. Do you get- Oh, maybe it's- Is it, like, less likely to get, like, level ups if you do it this way? Because I feel like that's too good to be true. Let me try it on Kilroy as well, just because we do have a bunch of points. Um, okay. Let's try this. We do 100 EXP. Okay. If he gets, like, a 4 ping, then it's fine, but- Exactly a four pick. Okay. <laughs> I see you, game. Maybe I should be doing this a bit then. But I'm gonna hold on to some points just in case there's uh, other characters that I want to use going forward. Um, I... Is it the same cost to level up Tiamat as well? No, I don't think it is. No, that'd be way too good. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not. Yeah, because she's a promoted unit. We can uh, learn skills this way. So, let's get it. Yeah, so we can do... Oh, wait. Can it... Does it tell me what it does? Oh, so I I'm guessing no one understood that, so I was just reading to myself, but prayer makes it so that if you get hit by an attack that will bring you down to zero HP, instead you'll get half HP instead. Holy shit. Wait, what does the five mean? It can only be used five times, maybe? Oh no wait, it's the capacity thing, look at that. Oh, I see. No, no, I... Mm. Does it mean from full health? Because I feel like it's way too OP if... You know... Or there's like a tiny chance that it would happen sort of thing. Also, you can stir, you can get rid of some of them. But I don't know if they get rid of, or you can take them off and put them on other people. I don't know that. So... What does Kilroy's Ante do? Hold on. Um, sitting still. <laughs> what does sitting still do? Oh right, it's the it's the thing of um the biorhythm is is normal. Uh-huh, okay. I'm gonna give it on Oscar then. Yep, why not? Okay. If that was a bad idea, you guys can let me know. We do have some support conversations, I guess. Oh I can Oscar. Huh. And what does information do? Okay, sure, what does this do? Oh Lullabell, okay. So you're the, uh, mercenary leader, are you? Hmm, you're, you're quite young, aren't you? I wonder if Ike is into older women. Uh, <laughs> anyways. So you're the shopkeepers that Tiamat told me about. You were the ones that wanted to come along, right? Yeah, that's right. I suppose it's some kind of destiny that we met like this. If you protect us and protect our safety, then we will help you in, uh, whatever ways you need. I feel like it'd be a nice, uh, two birds, one stone type of deal. Uh, what do you think? Well, that's quite the deal. Well, it seems like our truce has been formed now. Uh, my name is Muston, the weapon shop owner. I will make weapons, uh, I'll, I'll give you the right weapons that you need, I suppose. I'm the item shop owner, Lullabell. I have a whole lot of different items, and I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Oh, who are you? George? Okay. My name is George. I own a uh, second-hand shop, I guess, or an antique shop. You can sell any uh, weapons or items that you don't need anymore. My name is Daniel. I can uh, increase your weapons, or, you know, um, forge your weapons. I'll make them the right kind of weapons for the right customer. If you trust us, then we can uh, hold on to your, you know, weapons and items for you. But how do you think? Or what do you think? That sounds good to me. I would love uh, for you guys to do that. Right, then that's exactly what we'll do. Um, you know, let's look out for each other, kind of thing. Interesting. So, is this different story beats that we can... Oh yeah, might as well then. Let's take a look what Yofa's got to tell us. Okay. 
I guess it's not a support conversation, but it's kind of just like world building things. So I'd love to do all this because this is a story based uh, playthrough, of course. Hmm. Yofa. Oh, uh, Mr. Ike. Uh, Mist has gone to bed now. Oh, I'm sorry for making you do all that. Uh, no, it's okay. It's quite getting quite late now. You should go to bed too. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. <laughs> I don't know, I just want to protect him. Oh, what's wrong? Mist is fine. Hmm? Because it's Ike, you're here, so she's definitely fine. Ugh. That's all. I need to go to bed now. Good night. Yofa, thank you. Oh, okay. I wonder if this question mark... Wait. Oh, I was about to say, I wonder if this question mark is ball but it looks like I can, actu I can actually examine that, so... Let's take a look at Kilroy first. What has Kilroy got to say? Kilroy? Ike. Oh, what's up? What's going on? I was praying. For my dad? Yeah, for our leader. Kilroy. Sorry, I know you you must be the one that's feeling sadder, but... <sighs> Quite a while ago, I heard this story from my dad. If you let out those tears for the deceased, then the goddess will grant them th that much... Um, Yasuragi is like, uh, that much peace in the next life, apparently. Although, it seems like I can't uh, drop any tears from these eyes. Kiroi, if you can cry for, for my sake too, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, Ike. Thanks. Thanks for my dad too, Kiroi. God, this is so touching already, and it's seven chapters in. I'm, what, episode seven, right? Like, or eight chapters in? Who is Question Question? Is it the, the traveler or whatever that we saw a while back in the pirate town? A, a person's voice. Is it over here? Oh. Oh, it's Tiamat. Oh, she's crying. G Grail, wh why? Why did you... I guess Ike's not gonna bother her. <sighs> That's rough. I like this a lot. Oh my god, I like that a lot. I wonder why... Oh, it doesn't show me. You know how with the, the village people it said two stars, but then the individual characters it said one star. I don't know what that was about. Let's take a look at the um, support conversation between Ike and Oscar, though. I... Nokori kai wasu, five. Why did I say that in English? Why did I just say five in English? That was bizarre. That was just bilingual things, am I right? Um, but remaining talk conversations, five. Okay, it's exactly what I thought. So, basically, I'm gonna have to decide who I want to do supports with. But I think, because this is my first playthrough, I'm not gonna worry too much. Um, I think maybe I'll, you know, kind of... If there is a, an A rank support that I'm like, oh, I really want to stick these two together and see how they interact, then I might do that. But when it comes to B ranks and the secondary support, I'm not going to worry too much. So, yeah, let's do Oscar. Might as well. They can have a B rank support, I suppose. Oscar, can you help me with my training? Wait, where, where are you going? Sorry, Ike. I'm the uh, the cooking specialist tonight. Or, or like the... I, I'm on cook duty tonight. Yeah. And what about Mist? It seems like she hasn't finished washing the clothes. It's been quite some time since I've cooked, so I hope I still have it in me. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've had your cooking. I'm kind of excited now. Really? Yeah. Why do you ask? I mean, your cooking tasted amazing back then. Well, from my perspective... Let's cast aside Scenario, who always is <laughs> emotionless, uh, as well as my two brothers who uh, had grown up with my food. One of them who is dead, I'm sorry. But... Uh, the Chief, uh, as well as the Vice Admiral Tiamat, you and Gatri, all four of you would eat anything, and you would always be satisfied with any kind of food. <laughs> the only person who would actually talk about the intricacies of my meals was Mist and Shinon. Oh, also Kilroy, too. I just didn't mention it in my words, but I did notice you do realize that, right? <laughs> the copium that Ike is huffing right now. <laughs> Anytime the cooking duty went from you to mist, well, let's just say those were some of the baddest memories I felt. <laughs> I guess she's awful at cooking. I mean, at that age, like, who is good at cooking, right? I think even my dad was struggling to eat that. <laughs> Although I did notice that mist has been getting better at cooking recently. Yeah, whilst you're out there training your sword, she's doing her best to train up her cooking skills. As the person cooking, she wants people to say that her meals are yummy. That's the, you know, that's the number one happiness for her. 
Huh, I didn't know that. I suppose I'll be more honest with her next time. <laughs> thanks. Nice, and they have a sea rank. That was cute. I like these a lot. And I really do like translating these as well, because I can, you know, really think about what they're saying. And really talk about the intricacies of the Japanese dialogue as well, because sometimes, you know, there's bits and pieces that kind of get left out in translation. But anywho, I suppose we'll end. This weirdly reminds me of Hoshinengi, which is uh, a game series that no one watched. Um, I will get back to that at one point. I did not drop that. I do want to make that very clear for the one Hoshinengi fan. You know what? For the mm, no Hoshinengi fans are watching this, what am I talking about? Um, apart from Roche. <laughs> You're a true one. <laughs> um, but anyways, okay. Tiamat, alright. Good morning, Ike. How are you feeling? Do you think you can keep going? Tiamat, are you sure you're okay? Yes, I I've, I've feel much better now. Well, it's time to get some work done. First of all, we should be recruiting some new uh, members for our guild. Although, actually, we should probably talk to the King of Garia first. Was there any contact from the Garia Palace? Garia? Garia? I don't know which one I'm going to use. Garia, maybe? Okay. No, not yet. Lagus, which was the, um, one of the beast people that we talked to last time, I think it was? Um, yeah. So he's saying that, uh, when Lagus brought us food, uh, he said that we will get in contact at some point in the near future, but... I right, there's a problem. Look outside the window. That's right, we're in, like, an abandoned castle or something, right? Yeah, there we are. Well, not an abandoned one, but just like a... I guess we're surrounded. Is it the beast people or is it Burn? That's... Sorry, Burn is from Binding Blade, I'm stupid. Dean Kingdom, yeah. If my eyes aren't playing tricks on me, then that's a small uh, army group from Dean. Uh, and we're in such a situation like this. They even crossed into Garia borders, what are they thinking? The fact that they've even crossed over borders means that they're, you know... I guess it just means like they're, they're determined uh, or the, you know, they're prepared to die sort of thing. Um, they're kind of like suicide, they're, yeah, like a suicide squad of, of sorts. Ugh. This is the problem, we've been completely surrounded, there's no way to run. To defeat that many enemies with a small group like this, well, I can already see us losing. But whatever the case, we have to do this, everyone, get, uh, prepare for battle, I guess, prepare yourself. <laughs> He said it! He said it now! <laughs> okay, roger that. I have already got some countermeasures prepared. What does that mean? Okay. But big bro! Mist, you go inside with Yofa and, and hide. But big bro... Quickly, I'll be fine, okay? Yeah, okay. You do your best then. Or like, stay safe out there. Oh. Oh, the, my medallion's shining again. Is there gonna be another cutscene of just a medallion shining? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by this, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> it's the same one, actually. Alright. Uh, mm, I need a bit of a reminder. What's Alincia doing right now? Is she with us? She's with us, right? No, 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 wait, no, she's with... Is she with the Beast people? Again, I'm sorry, it's been like a month since I recorded this. I really want to reiterate that, so... Um, but again, I will refresh my memory because I am, like like I said, I was part way through editing uh, the previous episode of this one. So yeah, don't worry about me missing details going forward. It's just this episode, it was just the thing where I just kind of had to record, so. Mom, Dad, if you hear my voice, then protect Big Bro and the others. Please, I'm begging you. Alright. I hope the game gives us some new units or else this is gonna, mm, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like, uh, okay, this is Gebel Castle. I feel like there was a map in Time Skip Three Houses that was similar to this, with like a rundown. That was the Blue Lions thing, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't know, it's been a while. Anyways, who cares? We're not talking about Three Houses, we're talking about a good game. Sorry, I started a war. Um, <laughs> let's continue. Uh, let's be civil. Let's continue. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, is everyone prepared? Alright, now is the time for the Grail Mercenary Group to strike. Oh my lord, we really only have five units. Well, I'm glad that I gave... It's funny that you can actually return to base in this situation, like in this context, that's the funniest thing ever. Um, but basically what I was saying was, uh, yeah, no, I'm glad that I gave uh, Kilroy and Oscar at least one level up with that uh, system before. I suppose we've already done our items, so let's just jump into it. Again, I do wonder what that metallic hand or that metal hand is. Hold on, I'm slightly worried about something. One second. 
Never mind, we are okay. False alarm. I was a little bit worried because uh, the first episode of Path of Radiance was recorded with 30 frames per second uh, using the uh, Bandicam default settings. And it turned out looking kind of bad. I mean, it was fine in the story mode, but when I moved the cursor around a lot like this, it looked really bad. So I just wanted to double check if we were on 60 FPS, and we are. Um, and I do understand that I upload in 720p, and I know that's not super modern, but you gotta understand this game is also 480p. Uh, it's just been a case of, it's really interesting because um, Sony Vegas, my video render program, renders out in 30 FPS. But if I record the source footage in 60, it tends to look really good. Um, or, you know, as, as good as you're gonna get from a 2005 game. Again, I want to reiterate that. And obviously, um, I've noticed as well that other people's playthroughs of this game on the internet, on YouTube, look much better. And that's clearly because they're using stuff like Dolphin and they're upscaling using, you know, patches and stuff like that. Um, but because I, am, I can't do that due to specs and stuff, due to that sort of thing, and it's just more convenient doing it this way on real hardware for me, um, please just understand that it's not going to look as amazing as some of those playthroughs. However, I've, I, uh, hey, at least I hope that I have a bit of heart when it comes, you know, I, I hope there's a bit of personality with this playthrough and my commentary that makes you stick, um, stick to it, and I, and I greatly appreciate every one of you for being patient with me, because this, uh, this is my first time playing, of course. Uh, however, let's get back into things. Um, I do really like the rain uh, droplets, the pitter patter that's going on. That's very high quality. Yeah, that looks amazing. All right, what's the plan here? Um, oh, it's a it, defend for eight turns. I guess because Yofer and Mist are in the back. Are they gonna come down? All right, Tiamat, you're on here. You're here, um, without a doubt. Polax is for yeah for Cavalier, so you're gonna have that equipped. Oscar's probably capable. Although, um, basically if we block off all three entrance points, I think they can basically just come to us. Uh, unless there's some sort of boss we got to deal with. Uh, I mean, not deal with, but I'm sure there is a boss of sorts that you can defeat for an extra item or something. So I'm trying to locate where he might be. Or she, we don't discriminate. Um, although, actually, that is very interesting. I don't really ever see female bosses, unless they're like story characters like Sonya or something. Oh, it's him, Kamara. Okay. Well, Tiamat can hopefully deal with him. We do have the, uh, the, what was it, the hammer as well, because he does seem to be a heavy, heavy boy. Um, so, I'm gonna go back one. Yeah, go back one, switch over to Steel Lance 43, so it doesn't break, so we, so we can still double. Ike, you go up here. With your... Oh, you do have an armor killer. Hmm, but I suppose I'll switch to a uh, steel sword. What does Mere do? Orders? Uh, huh? You can tell everyone to assemble here? Or like dodge? Or like stop? What does that mean? I'm not gonna play around with that. Uh, if someone knows, please let me know down below. I'm kind of curious. But um, I'm not gonna mess around with that because I feel, because you know, this is no research and I don't wanna... I, I can actually tackle him into the zone I was gonna put him in. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very funny, um, but I'm gonna put Kilroy on the, the zone there because he is the healer. Alright, lots of throwing stuff going on I guess, yeah, okay. I think, yeah, Tiamat's gonna be completely fine. I, I was, t okay, this is really dumb, but I just, only just realized that she has her hair as like a braided ponytail. And I can't believe it took me that long to realize. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's a thing that she has. I mean, I dig it. It's a cool style, I guess. Alright, he is so dead. <laughs> he is so dead. Um, so... I don't know how much is- Okay, she's missing- she's dodging everything, which is fantastic. Oh my god, that is a ton of damage. We probably don't even need to use the Hellbird here, but... Hey, okay, there you have it. Or the Pole Axe, I guess. Very, uh, cool stuff. Sorry, I coughed. I, uh, cut that out. I was quiet for a bit. Anyways, um... Maybe it is time for a sippy. Oh! Oh, this is counter, of course, okay. Oh, but it ends your turn if you counter. Okay, so that's- it might not be the greatest, um, thing there, but... Yeah... If these heavy boys don't have anything that's throwable... Also, these heavy boys are gonna be weak to magic, so, um, scenario down this way might be a good idea, yeah. Yeah, I, I imagine that was about how much we were going to do. However, they could probably clog themselves up, yeah, like that. So, oh, you have a longbow. You have a longbow. <laughs> Why do you have a longbow? 
<laughs> why do they why do they already have long bows in this state? Oh no damage, nice. Um So and it's unfortunate because Oscar can't wield axes right now. So basically we can't do anything about um the heavy boys right now because we can't use the hammer or anything. Or the armor slayer, because you know, um Cavellis can't use swords anymore, so bit of a shame. Are you Oh Erase? E erase, yeah. Her name is Erase? <laughs> we have Scenario, now we have Erase. <laughs> what does Erase do? I, she she looks scoutable. Who do I talk with? <laughs> Who do I talk with? Uh, I wish I could look up the wiki, but I know someone- I know Ro is gonna be pissed off or something, so... <laughs> I'm not going to, but... Okay, I have two guesses. It's either Scenario, because they're both anime magic users, or it's Ike, because he's the protagonist. <laughs> I don't think there's really any other things there. Uh, it looks like Oscar's really capable by himself anyways. Again, it really would have been helpful to have Shin on, but... What can you do? So... The question is, do I want to switch over to Javelin? Or not? Um... I do want to check one thing with these guys. Uh, where is their items? Steel lance. Oh wait, no, it tells them. Oh wait, no, but yeah, I w I'll have to see all of them when I- What does the red mean again? They're gonna drop it? Or... Maybe? I don't know. Um, I thought green was dropping. Okay, he has a javelin. To be fair, they're not too bad. They're not too bad. I'm more worried about the, the fire mages, to be fair. Um, okay, well, if Oscar's there, Scenario could help out here. Depends how much you're doing. 7 times 2, 8 times 2? Okay. I'll do that and then Oscar can move up once and then Longbow can't get a uh, scenario anymore. Oh shit. Is that some special thing? Oh no, that's his double thing, I see. Oh, it's probably- it probably doubles before the enemy gets a chance to strike or something. I mean, in this situation the enemy wasn't gonna strike anyways, but I'm just saying that's probably what the skill does. Interesting, okay. Again, the question is, where is- I, right, I'm gonna turn on Erase's Erase. Yeah, that is her name. Um, <laughs> I keep t uh, I keep double taking because I think, oh, is it Elaine? And it's like, no, it's not. It's just erase. <laughs> what are you gonna erase my my? Uh, are you gonna erase my HP? I guess. <laughs> All right, but we do have armor killers. Although, let me just double check how much she can move because if she, you know, she has a dragon. Oh no, she's good against dragons. Okay, she's not a dragon person. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then she can attack there, right, I see. So Ike's fine for the time being. I will armor killer this guy. Yeah, I think that's fine. This could be a tough- oh my god, look at the armor killer, that looks amazing. God, that is such an anime weapon, and I dig it to bits, look at that. He wasn't able to finish him, but that's okay. Um, he, I'll be able to beat him in re uh, retaliation next turn anyways. I could throw the javelin against this guy, oh, though it's ten times two. Three times two, um... Yeah, because I'm not even going to beat him, am I? So... Uh, I do have the steel spear, uh, spear as well. Yeah, we'll go with that then. Um, the steel lance, of course. Alright. Nice. Oh, he has a steel as well, ooh. A little bit painful, but at least their hit rates aren't that high, so Oscar should be fine. We also do have Kilroy, we also can Kanto as well if we need to. Okay, Kilroy, you stay there. Alright, let's uh, end our turn. Sorry, I just had a quick uh, sippy break as per usual, but um, okay. Tiamat's, yeah, look, I feel like everyone's capable here. The only issue I have is maybe I'll end up killing a unit that we're meant to recruit, um, or that we can recruit, I should say. So, um, we might end up erasing a race, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know what's up with her name. I don't know what's up with any of these names. She's probably called Elaine or something in the English dub. I'm sure she is. <laughs> Um, but if I'm wrong, please let me know down below. Um, like I said, I, you know, even though I will be using the Japanese names for my convenience, um, 
you know, I am very curious about localization and stuff. Fire Emblem localization does annoy me um, at times when there's clearly a character that uh, is completely fine as an English name. Uh, let's, uh, what about the butler from Fire Emblem Fates, right? You know the butler, white hair, long ponytail? He's called Joker, but for some reason they had to change his name to Jacob, and I don't understand why. Uh, not saying Jacob's a bad name, I just say, I'm just thinking like, what is the point? Um, and as someone that does professional translation, that shit pisses me off when, <laughs> you know, I understand for things like Pokemon, because like that's clearly targeted towards a very young uh, audience, so of course you're not going to give Japanese names to the gym leaders and stuff like that, but when it's Fire Emblem and these games are like uh, rated like 13 plus or something like that, um, I feel like it's a bit of a different story, and I really do get annoyed when stuff gets kind of like, I don't know, like, not paywalled, but sort of blocked out in a sense, where it's like, um, you know, this this character's name is only this in the Japanese version kind of thing. Uh, again, hopefully Oscar's okay, but um, yeah, this is a very brutal map, I must admit. This game, this game has been very brutal up until this point in terms of, here's like, three units, good luck, it's like, <laughs> Jesus. I think we're fine in terms of, even if this guy does hit. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. Jesus Christ. Okay. And, um... Ugh, fuck's sake. Is Oscar dead? I don't want Oscar to die. Please. You're fine. I- that's fi I'm fine with that. I'm just saying there's a mage up ahead. Or- or- hmm. Actually. That might have been the best case scenario. Heh, <laughs> scenario. Um... That might be the best case scenario. I don't think the mages can rage now. Oscar. Okay, good, 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 good. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. God. I mean, I, I, you know, you guys were like, oh, well, I mean, I say you guys. If all these Discord was like, you could probably do hard, and it's like, difficulty's fine. I'm just, I feel like there's way, like, they do not give you any units in this game, do they? In terms of, um, but again, I'm, I'm having a ton of fun. I'm just, I'm just kind of worried about, you know, the whole no reset rules and losing a character that I really like or something, so. Alright, is Erase gonna move? We do have weapon advantage. Um, f uh, ooh, it is the Halberd, but that's, uh, that's that's fine. Nice, nice, we're doubling. Okay, awesome. Ike should be fine. I mean, we gave him all those kills. We fed him all that EXP. He should be okay right now. Um, God, there's so many units in this. Um, I almost felt like it was better to put... Ike down the middle with the armor killer and then have Oscar on the left and maybe Tiamat on the right or something, but if Ike is the one that recruits this character... Oh, okay, you're healing up. I was like, what, why, are they, why are they talking? Um, okay, I see. Okay, so... What do I do with you? <laughs> well, we'll deal with you in a second. Thank God Oscar is fine. Jesus Christ. Okay, let me uh, quickly... Yeah, mend him up, re-live, re-live him up. <laughs> Alright, cool. Great. Um, oh, okay, I guess none of the Cavaliers are here anymore. I could help out Oscar for the time being, I mean, we can, we still have eight turns, so we can actually beat this guy way, way later down the line. Um, so I could actually retreat with Oscar, but, uh, for the time being, is there any way I can beat this guy? Yeah, there is. So maybe if I beat him... Uh, how do I want to do this? I'm just trying to think. If we beat him, and then... Scenario's not going to be able to fight this turn, I don't think. But we could put Tiamat up there, and then Oscar should be fine for the time being. So we might as well do that for now. Uh, this this might hit, yep. And it is quite a lot of damage. It's, what, 8 damage or something? Which doesn't sound like much, but at the end of the day, like, 8 damage will stack. <laughs> um... You know, four eights and he's dead, I'm pretty sure, so... Okay, three ping. Um, okay. Looking good, though. His strength is is rather high and stuff. Actually, we could get Scenario to it. Uh, mm, no, wait, no, we can't. Because if I'm... If I can tow... The only way I can get Scenario to attack is if I get Scenario where Oscar is. But I don't think there's a point to doing that, so I'm going to keep Oscar here. Tiamat can join in now. And... Use a hammer on this guy? Yeah, why not? We'll do that for now. And, uh, do it that way. Okay, nice. Javelin, okay. Bang, alright. I, I love how goofy the hammer looks. <laughs> so funny, alright. 
Down you go. Fantastic. Cool. Great. Um, I could... No, there's no point in countering up. I'll just keep you there. Uh, I suppose Scenario can then help Ike out, maybe? 23. I'm not too worried about him. Again, like I said, my big worry is if a raise... One, two, three, four, five. She can actually reach if I beat enough of the enemies. Maybe I'll head back like two and heal up. That might be a better idea for now. I'm gonna vol up Ben 10, of course. Um, and then Scenario can... Wait, what? Oh, can a race still... A race can come down there and attack. However, I don't think I'm gonna counterattack, so I think... I think it's okay. In fact, that might actually be the best case scenario. <laughs> scenario. <laughs> Sorry, that was actually unintentional. Uh, it just, yeah, I ended up saying it and then I was actually moving scenario. Is kill Roy. Don't kill Roy, please. Don't kill kill Roy. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> Whew, okay. God, longbows in chapter 8. Game. Chill out, please. Um, you know. I do like, you know, when Fire Emblem maps are a little bit more, you know, challenging in a sense, but when it's when it's this scary, it's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit demotivating in a sense, isn't it? But I think we're fine. At least there are some reinforcements and stuff so far. I would love to have a unit or two or five, um, but other than that, it's not too bad right now. Yeah, how much is fire gonna do to Tiamat? Because this could be bad, but however, we could just... Okay, just just one. Alright, not a problem. Okay, cool. That's great. And uh, Mage comes down. Oh, received a Voluntary. Again, they can trade... The enemies can trade in this game, which is really strange. Um, and also low-key terrifying. Um, the fact that they can even... Uh, trade. However, the fact that this archer came down means that um, a race can't come down this way. So, I'm guessing that she's recruitable, and uh, if that's the case, well, uh, you know how it is. I could look it up. Um, hmm. I'm a little bit intent on looking it up a little bit more, because, hey, at least with all the other games, the story wasn't as, you know, um, deep, I guess, so I wasn't scared of Spoilers, but like I'm just I just I don't even want to go into the wiki when it comes to Path of Radiant stuff right now So <laughs> that's kind of the reason why I'm kind of picking and guessing with uh, who who recruits who and stuff um, Kilroy does need a who wh mm, It's this guy is it? Yeah It's this asshole with the long uh, long bow. Yeah, of course um, Can I finish him? No, I can't can I finish this guy? Y yeah, but is there a point in doing that? Uh, I guess Tiamat can finish. I kind of did want her to... Could use the... Yeah, use a short spear so she can throw. Um, so yeah, Tiamat finishes this guy. She can counter where he's standing. Oscar can move up. Uh, I think... Yeah, I think that works. Alright, she definitely does need healing, don't get me wrong. Okay, cool, she, he did have a drop of- Well, we don't even have an archer, so I don't even know why they do that, but okay. Now, can I finish the archer off? Yes, I can. I can also finish the mage off. He's doing seven. If we clog off here... Uh... Well, if we keep him alive- Well, actually, he might die uh, on backfire. I was thinking maybe we could move Kilroy up to- uh, top up Oscar, but I think it's fine for now. Okay, fire. Yeah, that's kind of the reason why I wanted to top Oscar up a bit, but... If anything, I'm a bit more worried when it comes... Unless we... Canter back with Oscar? Can he do that right now? Yeah. If we canter back... Actually, no, if we canter back, um, Kilroy's still gonna be... In the danger zone. I suppose we'll keep you here. We could, we could we'll put him back, but I'll, I'll move Kilroy up the, up the zone. Magic shield, uh, that's all you got. Mm. Kilroy probably needs a heal, so let's see. Let's use a Volnary. Um, okay. I suppose Scenario can jump in? Scenario can. Yeah, okay. 
Again, here's the other thing. If I was using English um, names for all these characters, I would have to keep saying Soviet Union whenever I use this character, so... <laughs> Which, I don't know how, how um, yeah, how fun that would be on my end. I don't particularly want to say that word, so, um, you yeah, know. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just have to use the armor clip killer. I mean, the steel sword isn't finishing him off, so... Oh, he's a bow knight, I see. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, I might end up erasing a race, but nice critical. Oh my god! And I don't know if I said this last time, but I noticed maybe I noticed this during editing. But that critical animation is Ike's side B in Smash Brothers Brawl when he does the charge and he dashes in. Yeah, it's very cool stuff. Didn't expect all, all this, uh, you know, references and stuff. I guess that's what Smash Brothers, you know, does with all its characters, right? But it's very cool, very cool stuff. Okay. Nice, yeah, we can actually throw back, which is great. Um, I do feel like, though, if we ever lose Tiamat, I think I don't know if I'll be able to beat this game anymore <laughs> after that point, so that does worry me, but, um, again, we do have weapon advantage. Oh, Jesus, okay. Nice, that's, that's good, that's good. I would like to have a second healer if possible. Um, I know I'm asking for a lot, but... Hey, we, we literally only have five uh, units here, but it looks like the um, storm's about to suffice, I, sh I suppose you could call it. So that's good. We can heal up uh, Tiamat and Oscar, both of them, next time. With items and uh, kill variety and all that. Uh, and then Tiamat can run down, beat the boss. Probably, he probably drops an item or something. Might as well. Okay, and then they're still trading voluntary server. <laughs> okay, sure. Now, we'll, um, yeah, we'll erase, uh, attack and, and therefore kill herself. Oh, actually, we might be good, because, uh, we didn't double this guy. Okay. Alright, so they're still really, okay. They're being really, um, conservative with their healing, I've noticed, but... Uh, some reinforcements? Okay. Sure. It came very, uh, slowly, but, uh, yeah, there you go. Alright, there's only this guy left. Which means I can, first of all, patch up Oscar. Uh, yeah, with Relive, um, Mend, of course. I probably could've just used a heal, to be fair. That's okay, um, I'll do that. Cause, uh, are you- you're not- you, yeah, you just have healing- oh, you, you do drop a red gem, though. What does, uh, Kamara here drop? Oh, nothing! I guess it's just for the EXP and maybe a special uh, bonus thing at the end of the the chapter, like some more story sort of thing. I could go back one and lure them out again. Um, here's the thing. Let me just red all of these. Okay, so it's no. Oh, I forgot. That's right. You can't attack behind in this game, which is kind of dumb, but I guess it makes sense. Hold on. So in that case, does anyone actually have? you know, magic or anything like that. The other issue I have is if I attack and beat this guy, then I feel like you're gonna attack and end up killing yourself because Ike's gonna retaliate. So, you know. <laughs> Not particularly happy about that. Um, okay. I'll just use the, yeah, I'll just use the one iron lance, I guess. Okay, I'll just double with that one. Oh, that's interesting. So that said, there was there was like the times two thing, but that's why I was kind of curious. I, was, I wanted to test that out because I wanted to see if maybe like um, it was going to switch over to the other lance mid uh, combat. I, I I did think that there was a slight sliver of me that did think that um, because it did say the times two thing just then, but. I almost feel like putting Ike, leaving Ike here is the best for now. Because I think these enemy units are, are going to attack before she does. But if I attack this, then she might come down. So I'll have armor killer equipped. Seven left. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Spurs wind our turn. This is a bit of a, yeah, this is a very str uh, strategy heavy map, I must admit. Um, okay, we'll chase after him next turn. That's fine. Okay, sure. This could be bad. If Ike finishes all these guys, then this is this might be bad. Okay. That's good. Kind of. 
I did sort of want him to at least finish a couple of them, but that's okay. Maybe it is fine to go in and attack a bit then. And okay, they're going around that way. More reinforcements, okay. I mean, again, this is a, um, you know, a defend stage, so... But I'm gonna have to hurry up with both the boss kill and the recruitment, if, if that is a thing. So, we might just have to go in, to be fair. Hope for the best. You know, if, if, she, if she pulls an Amelia, then she pulls an Amelia, that's all I'm saying. Uh, I suppose we'll go back. With Oscar, we can... I guess we could have gone around as well, but... That's fine. Alright, I suppose I'll finish with the uh, scenario here. Oscar can run over here and join if possible. I, yeah, again, like I said, I think the enemy moves before the recruitables move. Or well, that kind of tends to be the case. So, unless you're Rootka. <laughs> Two ping, okay. Unless you're Rootka and uh, Fire Emblem Binding Blade. <laughs> then that's a different story. Um, but anyways, okay. Can finish him off. This is beefy experience. Alright. Just gonna hope for the best. Um, and then hopefully... Now Ike's getting attacked in two directions, which means we might be able to beat a couple of them, and then we might be able to reach that uh, array skill in the next turn. We do have two more turns, I believe, but... Uh, still. Kilroy, um... Kilroy, huh? Well, I'll get Tiamat to start just playing Fire Emblem Warriors <laughs> and going through these horde of enemies by herself. Um, yeah, I'll go for this guy first. Why not? Throw the short spear. Um, we could buy items. I completely forgot about that. Um, but yeah, I'm really not used to buying items in the menu screens. I know I really should be, but even just with the GBS stuff, I did notice that I, yeah, I'm not very particularly good at doing that, so... Yeah, it is what it is, but, uh, alright, Kilroy. Um, it's just magic shield, isn't it? You can defend, I suppose. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Interesting. Short, two short spears, okay. Well, we're being pushed back. Gah, why don't you all concentrate on the target? Okay. Could be bad. Okay, that's fine, it's fine. I didn't doubt you for a second. Well, I doubted you. For, I doubted you for a second. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We can finish him off next turn. I, in fact, I think the other two are going to, um, you know, die in uh, in retaliation anyway. So that's fine. Now, nice dodge. Good stuff. Okay, fantastic. I mean, look. At the end of the day, with Fire Emblem, it's like the first priority is to live, right? If we lose recruitments, we lose recruitments. Um, the first priority is just live. <laughs> and that is what I'm going to try and do for now. You would, really? Wait, did the armor kill it break? Is that why? Or was he speed? Oh, it did break. But that's fine. There's not that many armor knights anyways. Oh, you're coming back to Oscar. Okay. That's fine. I'm sure he's uh, widely capable of doing that. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. Good stuff. Great. And a level up. Okay. You're leveling up really nicely. Again, I don't know if there's promo items in this or not, or if someone mentioned- I, I do remember someone saying you had to be level 20 to prom promote, but... I don't know if that meant, like, you automatically promote level 20, or... You know, you need an item, but, you know, it, it's locked until level 20 kind of thing. However, Ike's gonna be doing less damage now, so... Can I get to her in time? Bit of a tough one, bit of a tough one. Uh, excuse me there. No, I guess it's coughing season right now. I do uh, sincerely apologize about that, but... Short speed broke, okay. This really is a brutal map though, huh? Oh? What was that? I don't know, people running? Uh, yeah, I can't talk to her this time. Well, I, I might be able to talk to her next time. So let's, let's, you know, it's still fine. We still might have time. Oscar can, well, Oscar can join next time actually, so let's do that. You're fine, but I'll top you up, why not? With just the uh, heal stuff. It's it's uh, it's hero time, as Ben 10 says. <laughs> that, I have not said that phrase in probably 15 years. That was a callback. Um, and then I'm gonna hammer. Yeah, I'll hammer him. I hammer the other dude as well. 
when uh, need be. And uh, I don't think he's gonna drop anything, but gah. Um, what is it again? Glory to the Dean Kingdom. Yeah. I forget what characters like this say. I hope the map doesn't end after beating him. It might. It does not. Good. Okay. Um, I had flashbacks of Efolo um, defeating one of the enemies and not being able to recruit um, Heath. Is that his name? Yeah, Heath. Yeah. I gotta calculate this. Hold on. I actually have to calculate this because... 12 times 2. You'll be doing 12 times 2. Which means, is he gonna one- I think he's gonna one-shot. I think he's gonna one-shot. Let's see here, if Oscar was also here with us, then... Sonara could beat him, Oscar beat you, and then I can go around and talk to her. I think. So maybe it is better to just wait for the time being, I don't- Eight movement. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's fine. I'm gonna end turn and see what happens. Again, this is a bit um, unfortunate in terms of the circumstance with this character here and how they were laid out, but... And again, if it's not Ike, I'm kind of screwed. Um, so I hope it's either Ike or Scenario, or else this is gonna be a bit, a bit of an issue here. Okay. Now hopefully I don't finish this guy one shot. We do have a weapon disadvantage, which is... Okay, good, good, good. That's a start, that's good. And the next guy, um... Yeah, this all depends on... Because, like, I don't mind if, um... Okay, this could be bad, this could be bad, this could be bad. Probably should have moved back to be fair, but hey, that's a level up. Level 15, nice. Okay, 2 ping. More strength is great, more strength is great. That's how we got those buff arms in, in uh, Radiant Dawn, I guess. Oh, she's definitely gonna attack. She's definitely gonna attack. Oh, she is... yeah, mm, uh, maybe not. Did she just move and not attack? Huh. I don't know, we'll have to ask her next turn, I guess, but maybe we were lucky. Maybe we are lucky. Oh, you're about to level up. Yeah, that's great. Oh, okay, we can level up right now then. <laughs> Even better. Okay. Steel Lance. And we'll hammer back. Nice. Nice, let's take a look at Tiamat's level up here. Level 5. Okay, that's a game company. Sorry, I've already made that joke in the past. 4 ping and it's very symmetrical. <laughs> that is very satisfying to look at. Okay. And, uh, yeah, Tiamat's really growing on me in terms of, like I said, like, earlier in this episode with the whole, like, that sort of motherly demeanor to, to sort of like round up these rowdy boys, right? <laughs> like, there's this kind of responsibility, which I think is really interesting. Um, so it's a very different sort of uh, Cavalier or Paladin character, I should say. Alright, can Ike talk? Yes, he can. Um, that's fantastic. Uh, I suppose we'll do that first then. I know that you can talk and attack in this game, so let's talk to Erase. What's going on? Hmm, okay. H who are you? I. I'm a mage, I'm called a race. This castle, uh, uh, are you okay? Sorry, the rain is so cold and, and wet, I guess. You, you, you don't look too good. Is something wrong with your body? You really are kind. Why are we on the enemy side? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, you don't look like any of the Dean uh, scum, I guess. Dean, yeah, dudes, I guess. I, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> Dean riffraff. It looks to me like you have some special reasoning to be working with them. I accidentally split up with the uh, shopkeepers that I was traveling with, and I tried to come into here to uh, get away from the rain, but then these black armored knights thought that I was a Clemerian, uh, Xanthor, like, uh, bandit, or sort of like scum, I guess. Ugh. I tried to deny it, but they wouldn't believe me. So, I pretended to be on their side and attacked you. Well, to be fair, you haven't attacked us yet, so I'm sorry. No, everyone, uh, you know, puts their life first before anything. But to be honest, those shopkeepers you were talking about are probably inside this castle right now. If I remember correctly, the uh, weapon shop owner was a guy called Mustan, and the item shop owner was a woman called Lalabel. I wonder if I didn't have that conversation before that this piece of dialogue wouldn't come up. Yes, those are the people. Oh, so they're safe, are they? 
we the mercenary guild and them the shopkeepers have a sort of truth truce going on. In other words, if they are your companions, then I don't see any reason for us to be fighting. Yes, of course, I want to be with you, or I, you know, I want to go along with you. Of course, a race, uh, though it is dangerous out here, so you hide in the castle for me. We'll defeat these enemies uh, on the outside. No, I can fight too. But your body is... There's more Dean soldiers than the eye can see. There's more, especially in the forest right now. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry that I'm putting you in this situation. Yes, of course. Okay. Awesome. And then we can also attack because this game is, is too cool and <laughs> we can do stuff like that. Although you can't attack through walls. That's, yeah, that's a no-no. I guess, that, look, it makes sense, but, you know. Does it annoy me? Yeah, kind of. Um, well, is it worth... Well, o uh, Oscar can come up here, for instance. And start attacking some of these guys, and uh, provide a bit of backup, because Ike is in rough shape right now. Um, the only problem is, I don't know how much a race is getting hit back by. And she might die immediately. She's getting hit back by 14. No, wait, no, she's getting back hit back by 9 times 2, that's even worse. Um, yeah, that's that's bad, that's very bad. How much is- how- um, how's Scenario doing, actually? Okay, so he's getting hit back by 10. He could die. He, he absolutely could die. I'm just worried for Ike's health, if anything, because he's only got 11 left. I think the best strategy here is to throw a hand- uh, a javelin at this guy. Finish him off. Although he probably was going to heal next time anyways, but that's fine. we we'll do that. And then... Uh, hmm. Well. Yeah, so that's done. You're a healer. You're a healer. Yo, you're dropping holy water, I didn't realize. And these guys only have steel lances, so this space is actually fine. Um, a race is completely fine here. Actually, hold on. Let me just... Uh-huh, I see. Yeah, because this guy's too... It really depends on how much Sonara is getting hit back. I don't think I want to risk it, but again, like, Ike... Ike does worry me. Uh... What if I pushed? No, there was no point... Yeah, there's no point in pushing. If I pushed down... Oh, in fact, no, I, I don't even think I can push. I don't think I have enough constitution to push. Yeah. Ike's just gonna have to tank this. I, hmm, if this game works like the GBA stuff, then they're technically in support range. With, um... With the Earth Affinity. I don't know what Earth Affinity does, that's a new attribute. Whatever the Earth Affinity does. Okay, so for the time being, let's get, um... Uh, erase outside of there. We'll, we'll erase her out of the, the zone. And, uh, this can Kilroy get some EXP here? I guess magic shield, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Oh yeah, Tiamat. Um, Tiamat could help us. Uh, we'll just get a, f a final bit of EXP. She is running quite low on some specialty weapons though, so I might actually dip for it. I feel like it's not worth getting rid of the halberd and the hammer. Alright, I think we're good. Now, let's see here. This is the final turn, so it should be fine, but I am still somewhat worried about Ike. This might hurt. This actually might hurt. Okay, good. Good job, good job. Okay, awesome. Alright, we're doing nothing back, that, but that's fine. At least Ike didn't get hit. I think that's the only unit that can actually hit Ike, so we should be fine. And Oscar is more than capable right now. Um, nearly caught up to Tiamat there, huh? Okay. But anyways. Alright, um, Steel Lance, yep, that's fine. Critical! Oh, I love this one. It looks so good. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> these actually might be like my favorite, not, not this one, sorry, these, like these um, animations in this game might be my favorite in the entire series so far, uh, in terms of critical animations personally. Very, very cool, just cinematic, it's just, I don't know, it's good stuff. Alright, I guess we're done. And uh, why is there reinforcements on this final turn? Just for the story, I guess? How are they going to get out of this, even in terms of the story, I wonder? Ugh. So there's more soldiers out there. Everyone return into the castle. I repeat, everyone return to the castle. Okay. But then what? 
Are the beast people gonna help us, maybe? I don't know. Ha <sighs> ha, okay, he's panting. Damn it! Uh, there's no way I can lose like this! Oh, so they're being surrounded by all the knights and stuff. Oh, he's still fighting, though. Oh, hey, he beat that guy. Good on him. With his 13 strength or whatever. <laughs> nice. Okay. That's great. Missed. Big bro! Missed! Don't, don't come out here. No! Missed. Is the amulet gonna do something? We can't run away, right? We're all gonna die here, right? Stop being an idiot. No matter what happens, I will let you and Yofa escape. And then you two will run to the Garia Palace and uh, talk with uh, Princess Alincia. I guess she is in Garia Palace. And, okay. I'm not going anywhere. I want to be with you and with everyone else. Right here. I'm not scared of dying alongside you. I mean, I get to meet up with Mom and Dad, after all. So please, don't tell me to run away by myself, okay? Alright, fine. Stay by my side then. Thanks, Big Bro. But we're not meeting Mom just yet. Huh? I will protect you. Whatever happens, you won't, you won't die. I promised my dad. <laughs> Big Bro. What are they gonna do, though? <laughs> <sighs> okay. I guess he really is taking like a hundred different uh, enemies at once. That's really cool. <sighs> For you to still be standing after dealing with this many of our uh, army's knights, <laughs> you did well. But this is the end. Uh, have at you, I guess. <sighs> oh. G Gua! Who's come to help us out? W what's going on? Oh, it is the beast people. Is that Sonic and Tails? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. It's the Gurrier's half beasts. What overwhelming power! Wait. So sorry, I'm confused. Or uh, well, not confused, but I I kind of forgot. Is Le was Laguz the name of the guy that appeared, or is it the name of their species? Because it's saying Laguz no Chikaroko. Is this the power of Laguz? But I don't know if he's talking about a certain singular person or talking about a group. You know, like the whole species, I don't know. But anyways, I don't remember entirely. Nice dodge. I guess they're cat people? Or tiger people or something? Gah, you beasts. Okay. I do enjoy this though, we're finally getting beast people. I, I wonder if this is the first generation of Fire Emblem that um, introduced them, because I know in Fates you get like Nishiki and stuff, but... Um, and like Awakening had the rabbit girl as well, right? Violet, I think her name was? Um, but anyways, yes, I've seen this guy. I've seen this this uh, cyan haired guy, the bulky dude, the the big boy. He keeps appearing in Fire Emblem Heroes <laughs> in the Gacha. I I haven't uh, seen the um the other one who looks very similar to Karapika from Hunter x Hunter. But anyways, uh, okay. I have a bucket load of questions, but first of all, are you from the Royal Guard? Yes. Oh. Okay. This is kind of interesting. He talks with half katakana, half hiragana. So it's kind of like, it's a very interesting way to portray it, but I guess they're trying to show off that he is not particularly good at speaking Japanese or something like that, but... Right, indeed, I am Garia Soldier Modi. Alright, <laughs> Modi. Alright, blue haired you, called Ike, right? I'm going to, I'm not being insensitive. This is the way he's talking and I'm trying to translate it for you guys. <laughs> so I'm not making fun of him, he's a very, he's a very refined gentleman, but... Yes, I am indeed Ike. You saved me back there. I have to thank you for that. Rai said Ike was not bad uh, intruder. No, not intruder. Uh, outsider. Yeah, not bad outsider. I'm sure you can be friends. You can be good friends with Modi. And this is Rete. Lete? Rete? I don't know. Lete. <laughs> I'm not sure. Lete, I guess. Uh, we don't know yet. So she can speak a little bit um, fluider, I guess. So I guess she's more fluent in the language. Okay, so she's referring to humans as Bjork. Bjork. I guess that's the name of their, the humans from their perspective, right? It's kind of like their way of addressing them, so that's interesting. These Bjorks have, uh, you know, uh, fr what do you call it? Like heads and tails, fronts and backs. They have different faces for different situations. Lete. Bjork, what are you talking about? We're talking about you. We, the people with power, are Lagoos. You, without skill, we call Bjorks. What? Lete, you speak too much. King says we can't fight with Bjork, but most Bjorks call us with that putrid name that they like labeling us, uh, us, condescending us with their eyes. Is that how they treat an equal? 
You're right, we have been labeling you with a certain name up until this point. Although I didn't know that it was a particularly bad way of calling you guys, or it was, it was a name that you didn't prefer. I didn't even know that you had another name for yourself. I apologize. You didn't know how you were making a fool of us. You lot always forget the things that are inconvenient to you. But we will not forget. We will not forget the things that you have done to us. No matter if the king trusts you, we certainly don't. Lete. And did you come here just to insult us? Yeah, you tell him, Scenario, you go. <laughs> this is the first time I want to, like, applaud Scenario a little bit. Not saying that, you know, I'm sure the humans did terrible things, to, oh, sorry, the Beoks did terrible things to, um, you know, these, these fine people, but, it, you know, <laughs> it was kind of like a, a barrage of being insulted, so go get him, Scenario. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds just like something a half-beast would say. Alright, I did back you up, mate, but let's not resort to racism, Scenario. <laughs> you imbecile. Those that call us that are the enemy of Garia. H half beast Enemy. He, he is enemy. Your pride is on the same level as humans, I'll give you that. You disgusting furry creatures. Oh, okay, he's going, whoa, okay, I guess he's transforming. Scenario, what are you doing, Scenario? I thought we were trying to get out of this. <laughs> Modi, do, give it to him, I guess. Mm. Is he testing them? Or is he actually just being racist? I can't tell. <laughs> Ike. <sighs> okay, Ike. Oh, Ike, I apologize. Modi did not mean to wound you. Modi, don't worry about my wounds, I'm completely fine. He says, half bleeding. <laughs> half bleeding his organs out after being attacked by a tiger. <laughs> okay. You sickening beasts. God. Stop it, Scenario. I, here's the thing. I hated Scenario to begin with, and now I hate him even more. Um, so it's like... <laughs> it's like, how, do, how does this guy have fans? I don't... Here's the thing with Shinon, at least. I do understand that Shinon is, like, race- or, like, he's deemed as racist or whatever, or, you know, he's, like, um, portrayed as that way. But, like, so far, at least from my blind perspective, he hasn't done anything that's, like, actually bad towards these people so far. It almost- the way Shinon talked about it in the forest, where he's just, like, oh, disgusting creatures, like, I don't want to go near them, like, it almost seemed like he'd never actually interacted with them properly, if that makes sense. So in a sense, I, I almost wanted to see what Shino, how Shinon would react to some of these characters when actually meeting them. Uh, and on top of that, I do feel like the thing with Shinon is he kind of belittles everyone around him, even if it's a human. In a weird way, I almost feel like he's treating everyone equally. <laughs> but scenario, mate, what are you doing? Why'd you stop me? He injured you, I can't just let him off scot-free. If you didn't taunt him like that, then this wouldn't have happened. Am I, not, am I mistaken? <sighs> I'm sorry. Scenario, what are you doing? Modi, Lete, I apologize for the rudeness of my uh, subordinates. Please forgive Scenario for me. This is just an excuse, but we just lost uh, a few of our allies, and we're, we're a bit hot on the water, is that the right phrase? Like, you know, we're a bit, um, not moody, but you know, uh, very hot-tempered kind of thing. Ike forgave Modi, so Modi will also forgive Scenario. Nobody is angry. Fine, I suppose I should apologize too. Not to mention we were just about to forget our own mission. How irresponsible of us. Mission? The king has called uh, for your invitation, uh, I guess. We were told to guide you all uh, to Garia Palace. Okay. Is that it? Oh, that's it for the chapter, okay. That was a bit of a long one this time, but that uh, was quite uh, the chapter. I really enjoyed the world building as well as, you know, some of the really emotional scenes at the start. Thank you so much for joining me once again for Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Uh, if you have any tips or tricks or anything like that, anything you want me to know, please let me know down below. I won't be able to get back to you immediately, uh, as I do record these in bulk. Um, quite uh, Usually it's about two weeks in advance or a week in advance, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind, but I will eventually get back to you, and of course I respond to all the comments I get uh, in written form, as you all know. So, anywho, I'm going to end things off here. And, uh, yeah, that's the thing as well. Like, um, like every comment I get just boosts my morale and my motivation to keep uh, pushing these out. So, uh, yeah, I greatly appreciate every one of you. But, anywho, I'm going to end things off here. Hopefully you all enjoy this, and I'll see you guys next time with some more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.